You know how I felt all along. 6-0, and very impressive. Doing it without much going on on offense, really impressive. Yet at the same time, I, I wasn't buying into them being legitimate Super Bowl contenders until they straightened things out on offense. And now that they have, I believe they'll be able to maintain this. I believe. I think they're now legitimate Super Bowl contenders. I didn't really take them all that seriously until yesterday. For our staff and all the viewers, uh, I wasn't going to bring it up to you mentioned it, but I, I only say this because I respect you. You said at one point last week, well, you know, I'm picking the Packers, but I'll want to wait till after a couple of series. I came looking for you after a couple of series. <laughs> if you would have fought me, night. I would have changed my mind. <laughs> I was going to give you an opportunity yeah. to rethink your pick. And I don't know, where, you, where were you sitting? Uh, I was in the first row, about three sections to your left. Okay. Cause it was a very crowded press box, so I had to scavenge yeah. last night. Well, then I won't say what I was going to say, because usually your types are back on like the third row. <laughs> 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 I, didn't know, I don't know where you sit in a game. Cause you're, I know all over. You're, I, oh, okay. I kind of sit wherever I want to sit. I only see you back in the food eating room. I'm there a lot. <laughs> not, not this season, though. Oh, Once my again. God. The food last night. Oh, my God. Was, it, I won't even go like into it. You didn't like me saying earlier in the year that you and Mark Kisler don't like the food, and people go, oh, I feel sorry for you. They're feeding you. But we're, all, we're, at, our, we're at our work. And I took someone to a game, and they went, you get three meals during a game before and <laughs> halftime. Uh, yeah, but you're working. I mean, people who work actually, we're there for eight hours. But you and Chris and Kisla have criticized the food. It was bad again and last I night. I didn't see you yeah. during the time last night. And I went, boy, it's reached an all-time low. But not because the food was so miserable, even though it was. They serve pierogies as if they were like appealing to the Green Bay media. Like the Green Bay media would come out here and go, oh, I'm looking forward to like Western food, you know, Mexican Denver, Southwest. Denver pierogies, pierogies, what we're known for. I can't wait to go to Indianapolis where they're gonna serve Rocky Mountain oysters next week <laughs> or something. Are those people just, oh, they've lost it among <laughs> other things that happen. But I came looking for you and I don't know where you sit and you're all, all over the place. Cause I was gonna say, how do you feel now? I do. I, I feel that they are now a legitimate Super Bowl contender. I needed to see it on the offensive side of the ball. I hadn't seen it up until, up until last night. Now I believe they are a complete team. I believe they can compete on any field. If they can maintain this, they can p compete on any, t on any field with the best teams in the NFL. New England, obviously Green Bay, Cincinnati. I'm in. I'm in with both feet right now. Okay, good. Uh, let me take one minute. So give me one minute. Pittsburgh lost its running back, who had been suspended earlier in the year. Roethlisberger came back. They lost at home to Cincinnati. That Pittsburgh game looming at the end of the year Doesn't does look not so, look as yeah. difficult as it might. You've got a still wounded Roethlisberger. You've got the best, possibly the best running back in the league, at least last year. <clears throat> One of the best two in the league is not going to be in the game. They look vincible. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They don't look invincible. They lost at home to Cincinnati. Andrew Luck, since we were last here, uh, Jake Laser, who I trust, when he says something, it's true. He's the one who came up with John Fox, Jake, Jake Laser, Fox Network. Last year was the guy who put out before the Broncos playoff game that John Fox was going to leave. So he, he's accurate in his information, yeah. says that Andrew Luck's problem has been that he's got cracked ribs that that's bigger than the shoulder problem, which kind of brings me back to thinking that he was soft after he came back, that he wasn't running the football when things broke down, he was throwing soft passes. That game doesn't seem, after watching what the, what the, uh, the Colts have gone through and a lot of, you know, they're talking about changing coordinators and getting rid of Pagano even before the season's out. Uh, New England now does not look as formidable as they did before the Broncos played last night. New England, with that kind of defense playing against them, with, with the offense doing what it did, New England could be beat here. Cincinnati. I think they're a very beatable team, Cincinnati. Here. 
Yes. If you had to go back to Cincinnati like you did last year, Late in the year. I would give the edge to Cincinnati in Cincinnati in cold and rain as last year. I look at this team, and, and I wrote today, so for people who don't know, I said, yes, they're now legitimatized. They are a Super Bowl contender. You mentioned them in the same sentence as the New England Patriots. Yes. They belong in that sentence. I looked at the numbers compared. Yes, New England's offense is still a lot better than the Broncos. Off the charts, 36 but points a game. defensively, the Broncos are far superior to the New England Patriots. Well, if you look wait at a it. second. New England's only given up 19 points a game. Well, don't give. I don't want to hear about that. Well, we're talking about a Denver Broncos team that is number one in overall defense, number one in pass defense. Yes. Huh? That's what the Patriots do. And the Broncos, they're going to play right into the Broncos' hands. The Broncos are number three in running defense. The Broncos are th- number one in the league in third down defense. They're number one in takeovers. They're number one number in two. sacks. Number two. Number one in sacks, maybe it's interception. Number one in sacks, as you know, that their numbers at this point, you'll appreciate this, are better defensively than the 85 Bears who you people get down on a rug and bow to <laughs> twice a day. You, you know, face you, know Chicago. you know what defense they're also better than? He didn't Through, pay attention no, to that. I heard it. Really I heard it. The <laughs> Chicago. That's the best defense ever. But the 2000. 12 Seattle Seahawks, or the 2013 Seattle Seahawks, dominating defense that, that kicked the Broncos' butts in the Super Bowl. The Broncos' defensive stats through seven games better than that Seattle Seahawks team right now. When you go to buy a car, what do you really want? You probably want a lot of cars to choose from. And you want the dealership's best price. Not some starting price or target price. The best price. And you want it immediately, not after hours of negotiating. And you want a salesperson who doesn't get paid more if you spend more. Because, well, you don't want to spend more. Well, you're in luck. John Elway wants all of those things, too. Better yet, John Elway wants you to have all of those things, too. Come see us or click on johnelwaychevrolet.com.